Welcome back. On Selection Sunday, we were pleased to be joined by six Marines stationed at Camp Takata, Iraq, about 50 miles west of Baghdad. Now, these guys love college basketball. And before we get into the details, I want to welcome these guys in, and I really want to talk about what they thought of day one of the NCAA tournament. Guys, you're behind us right now in our studio. We can see uh, up on the big screen. I want to ask all of you, what did you think? What did you think of day one of the NCAA tournament? Uh, I was sad because my favorite team, USC, they're now out of the tournament. Uh, my pick is UCLA. Even though I'm a USC fan, I'm hoping the Pac-10 will come through. Well, uh, I think I think Duke should have lost that game. They didn't deserve to win it. Um, I think that uh, Clemson, they haven't played yet, but I think that's a team to watch out for in the Midwest. And I'm still rooting for Oklahoma. Uh, that's my team. That's where I'm from. So hopefully they can pull it out. I watched a couple of the games last night, and as I was working, and Xavier took it to Georgia last night, so I was a little upset about that because I'm pulling for the SEC, so pulling for Tennessee now. If Tennessee gets dropped out, I'm going to have to pull for North Carolina. It's, it's, a, it's rough. It's rough. <laughs> NC, I want NC to take it all the way. Uh, Arizona let me down. I tried to take it out of Arizona. They let me down. And uh, we'll see how NC does. Hopefully they take the whole thing. So we'll see. And that Duke game was uh, a big nail biter. It's everything I can expect out of uh, March Madness. So it's what the tournament's all about. I'm excited for the rest of the games. Uh, day one was definitely had a lot of great basketball. Uh, the Xavier Georgia game was good. The Duke Belmont game went down to the wire. Um, Looking forward to a lot of good things throughout the month. Um, UNC, though, is on top of the whole field, so. All right. Hey, guys, I hear you saying a lot about North Carolina. How do I know you're truly a North Carolina fan? I hear you guys say that. I'm actually against North Carolina. I hate to say that, but I really want to know what you think about Duke. Uh, I'll tell you what I think about Duke. <laughs> If you're the North Carolina fan, I am. I am wearing North Carolina underwear. <laughs> There's Michael Jordan right there, number 23. And I've had these on for the entire tournament. Now I'm going to tell you about Duke. I think uh, Duke is what seven and four in their last in their last 11 games. And last year proved that when they go six and four, seven and four, uh, they lose real early in the tournament. So I think this next round uh, will be bye bye Duke. I hope Duke goes too. I can't wait to see him. We've been talking trash all this morning with some buddies about Duke, and I hope Duke bites the dust the next round or the round after that. Let's see. Not if Coach K has anything to say about it. Duke's going down this round. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they're going to go down this round. I think they're going to lose to Xavier in the Sweet 16, probably. Xavier will take more West Virginia. We'll see. Uh, West Virginia. All right, here's my question. This is just this. My question is just for the North Carolina fan. You were on our show six days ago, and you were wearing the same pair of underwear. Did you wash them? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my mom is going to be really upset to hear this, but no, I haven't washed them, and I won't wash them. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, this is Tom Pecora from Hofstra, and I'll tell you what happens when you become a college coach in the tournament. I wear my Hofstra underwear, and now that we're out, uh, I don't have any on. So, <laughs> so uh, you guys are doing a wonderful job. <laughs> That's kind of disturbing. I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, you guys are doing a wonderful job over there, and we appreciate everything you're doing. Since we don't have a team in the tournament uh, to root for, I'm just going to root for you guys the rest of the month. Awesome. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Bruiser Flip from Drexel. I just want to thank you guys again, just like Tom. I don't want to know, what's up with the West Coast guys? How can you switch from USC because they lose to go to UCLA? You got to have some allegiance uh, uh, a little bit, right? You got to have some loyalty with your team. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not switching. USC is still my favorite team and will always be my favorite team. But UCLA is going to win that tournament. <laughs> and I'm not a bandwagon. I can't stand UCLA. I'm a USC fan. But I'm being honest. I'm being realistic. All right, my last question is for the Georgia fan. Were you freaking out when the Bulldogs won three games in two days or what? I, I, I thought I could take them in the, the underdog, but I didn't. 
when I realized how retarded the, the three games was, I had to uh, let him go and uh, pick uh, Xavier Bino because I'm taking Xavier all the way to the, the Final Four. So. All right, guys, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure talking college basketball with you right outside Baghdad. We're going to check in with you again next week and see how your brackets are shaping up. What a treat that that's, was. That's terrific. And we wish them the very best. Yeah. And thank Thanks, them guys. For everything yeah, they terrific. do for us.